The following question reads that the first six ionization energies of four elements A to D are given. So, uh, which element is most likely to be in group four of the periodic table? So, so the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth successive ionization energies of of these elements A, B, C, and D are given, and we need to figure out which element is in group four. So, I'm going to first draw an atom of group four. Any atom. Let's uh, draw a carbon atom. So here I've drawn an atom from group 4. Uh, we were dealing, we need to identify a group 4 element. So I've, uh, I've picked carbon from group 4 and I've uh, drawn its electronic structure. So there are two electrons uh, in the inner shell which is closer to the nucleus and there are four electrons in the outer shell which is further away from the nucleus. Now if it's in group 4, so removing the first four electrons is going to be relatively easy because uh, there's uh, more sh those electrons uh, these outermost electrons, the first four electrons, removing these outermost electrons in the outermost shell is easy because uh, these electrons are more shielded and they are further and they are farther away from the from the nucleus. So because the nucleus is attracting these electrons, uh, because they are further away from the nucleus, uh, it would be easier to remove these electrons because the attraction of the nucleus and these outer electrons is not going to be very strong. Plus, there is shielding effect as well. These this, these electrons over here and the nucleus over here have uh, have one shell coming in in the way, so the attraction of the nucleus for this electron would decrease. So, because of more shielding and because being further away from the nucleus, uh, ion the first four ionization energies would be lesser. So removing these four electrons would be less and as soon as you remove the fifth electron which is closer to the nucleus the ionization energy would drastically increase. So let's look at the successive ionization energy of all the uh, elements A, B, C and D. Let's focus on A first. If you look at A, removing the first electron is very easy but removing the second electron becomes uh, increasingly difficult or drastically difficult which means that this electron over here was in the first shell, uh, was in the outermost shell, and removing the rest of the electrons because the rest of removing the rest of the electron becomes increasingly difficult, which indicates that these electrons are in the inner shell. So A only has one electron in its outermost shell. If you look at B now, removing the first second electron is relatively easy, but as soon as you try to remove the third electron, uh, it becomes very difficult to remove the third electron, which means that this third electron was probably in an inner shell. So in B, the outermost shell only has two electrons. The rest of the electrons are probably from the inner shells. Let's look at option C now. Uh, removing the first, second, third, fourth electrons, the first four electrons is relatively easy the the increase in ionization energy is not that drastic but as soon as you try to remove the fifth electron there's there's a very drastic increase in ionization energy all of a sudden uh, the, removing the fourth electron took 6000 kilojoules per mole of energy but removing the fifth electron required 37000 so there's a drastic increase which indicates that this fifth electron is from an inner shell it's closer to the nucleus the sixth electron is also closer to the nucleus so this atom element c has four electrons in its outermost shell removing the first four electrons is relatively easy so since we are looking for a limit in group four group four elements have four valence electrons uh, so removing the first four electrons is always going to be slightly easy so c would be in group four so the correct answer for this question is going to be it will be option it will it is going to be option c uh, we can check d as well if you look at d removing the first second third fourth fifth electron uh, the, these electrons there's a gradual increase in ionization energy so removing the first five electrons is relatively easy so which means that the outermost shell has five electrons but as soon as you try to remove the sixth electron, that's probably from an inner shell closer to the nucleus. So getting rid of this electron is very, very difficult. So this element is in group five. It has five valence electrons. So again, the correct answer, a group four element, that's going to be option C.